Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Into the Breach. We're back. I've played Into the Breach. I've played it before. I've played it a couple times before. All of the videos up on YouTube of my 100% hard mode Into the Breach campaign. And now, Subset Games, the developers, have released a Advanced Edition content pack for Into the Breach. They did the same thing with FTL. Subset Games is the same company that made FTL. After the release of the game, it was incredibly well received. They made a advanced content pack for the game that added in a whole bunch of new mechanics, new squad, new ships in FTL, new squads in Into the Breach, new enemies, new weapons, new everything. I can't wait to check it out. I absolutely adore Into the Breach. I think it's an amazing, wonderful game. If you've never seen this game before, I highly recommend that you check out my playlist of it up on YouTube. There might be two playlists. If there is, go for the newer one. I'll adjust that probably later. But it's a wonderful game. I want to check out the new Advanced Edition content, the new squads, the new enemies, etc. It's a new game. Let's jump in here. If you haven't played Into the Breach before, I will go through some of the, the basic mechanics as we play. But to start with, let's check out some of the new information here, including achievements. There's a Bomber Mechs Squad, an Arachnophile Squad, Mist Eater Squad, Heat Sinkers Squad, and Cataclysm Squad, and no new global achievements, so just the squad-based achievements. And we have 100%ed all of these achievements on hard mode already for the vanilla squads. Let's see what we got here. And I have 10 credits. Uh, I think as a result of adding these new squads, they changed the coin costs associated with everything, uh, but I believe I still have enough to unlock everything here. Uh, 44444, four, 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 that's 20. You, we, we're gonna get 15, we got 25. Yeah, okay, we will be able to afford all the unlocks. Good. That makes sense because you have to pay for the last squad unlock with the coins, I think. So we have bomber mechs. With a small army of remote explosives and flexible weapons, the tactical options are endless. Small army, huh? Research, sorry, arachnophiles. Research has shown that the remains of defeated Vec can be used to power smaller but no less deadly mechs. You know, what's interesting about this is um, hazardous mechs rely on nanobots feeding off of dead Vec to stay alive. This kind of seems a little bit similar, at least from the description of it. The Mist Eaters. Airborne particles provide the material necessary for nanobots to repair these mechs. Maybe the same thing as hazardous mechs, a little bit of repairing happening. Heat sinkers, advancements in heat transferal technology allows these mechs to absorb fire to power their weapons. So it's like another fire-based mech squad because there are the flame behemoths. Although the flame behemoths light enemies on fire, it looks like the heat sinkers want to be in the fire themselves. Interesting. Cataclysm. Armed with the RST earth-shattering technology, these mechs can turn the very land against their foes. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll probably... I mean, we'll probably just start with the bomber knots, right? They look pretty freaking cool. This one looks like a pea pod. This one has like a laser rail gun, and this one is just a gun. So sure, we have... Oh god, hold the door is the first achievement. Um, by the way, a couple of other balancing things that have been made in the game. Uh, weapons are cheaper. Like, they take less power to utilize, I believe. And I think most weapons are free to use. You can use whatever the hell you want. So that'll be nice jumping into the game. But also shops, I think, have fewer options. Or maybe the shops are more expensive. I don't remember. Bomber mechs, hold the door. Block 30 emerging Vec by the end of Island 2. No survivors have seven units of any team die in a single turn. So enemy team or your team. Achievements earn you coins to unlock new squad mechs. Powered blast, pierce a walking bomb with the op cannon to kill an enemy. Okay, AP cannon. It's our, our brute mech, range mech, science mech. Fire a piercing projectile that pierces the first target and damages the second. Oh, so it, it's, it pushes and then does damage to the second enemy that it hits? Oh, that's interesting. I don't like that at all. That's hard to utilize. There's no prime mech in this squad, by the way. The bombling 
Launch a walking bomb. Unused bombs dismantle after the enemy turn. Two bombs. So you shoot a bomb, and then you can move it and then detonate it, and it does one damage. Okay. Uh, exchange mech. Force swap. Force a nearby unit to swap places with any other unit. <laughs> Force a nearby unit to swap places with any other unit. So you have to be like adjacent to a unit, but then you can swap with another unit. You know what? I, I see this as being a... Dump them into the drink sort of mech. Kind of like the, the teleport mechs. We can just swap enemies into the, into the drink. Heals ally and hurts the enemy as you power it up. We have Kazakh. As our time traveler, I forgot that we had this guy as a time traveler that for a while now. Uh, I guess we should put Kazak on something. Uh, we could put him on the piercing mech just so that he has some damage output, but we should probably put him on the exchange mech so that we have a damaging attack on the exchange mech. So you know what, please go into the exchange mech and then we will start. Uh, there are no apparent Difficulty selections, which is kind of interesting. Normally it would be right here, easy, hard, normal, or whatever, but let's start and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Advanced content. Enable the advanced VEC enemy types. Enable the advanced missions and bonus obje objectives. Enable the advanced weapons and pilots. Enable advanced pilot abilities. Pilots will gain new skills as they level up. And then easy, normal, hard, and unfair. More VEC, stronger VEC. Power grid defense starts lower, but all power grid repairs are doubled. Scores increase by 100%. We could just jump into unfair and just try to have, you know, play the game. Um, we'll probably just do that. I was thinking about starting on hard mode, but why don't we jump into unfair and see how unfair it actually is. As we get power back, the power repairs are doubled. We'll get two power for every one point that we get back, but more Vec, stronger Vec. In theory, we're gonna be taking more damage as time goes on, but let's give it a shot. Let's go unfair as the uh, this squad. We'll see what happens. We got all the advanced edition content. The way the game was meant to be played, TM. And uh, extraterrestrial time traveler speaking a language of unknown construction. We'll probably go with the basic island. I Oh, there's freaking new enemies too. There's new enemies here. You're a, a spider scion? Oh my, that's a new hornet. And that's a new, that's a snail? Okay, we're gonna go basic island because I need I need time to figure out what's happening. Yes, hello. And then, oh, you, oh, okay. It just shows two power options here. I understand that. And then also, do we have, uh, we have no experience on Kazakh. He's a, ba a base unit. I guess we could have taken any other pilot then, but let's um, let's see what happens. Kazak, you're good to go. Everyone's good to go. Let's begin. Defend the satellite satellite launches, high threat detected, or destroy the dam. Knock mites off of mechs. What the hell does that mean? Now five enemy units at the beginning of the combat sucks, but we can break the dam and flood uh, a lot of stuff here. So let's. This should be an easy mission for us to get warmed up with. What the hell are you, Mosquito? Soldier Scion gives plus one to all Vec. Smoked Tentacles. Smoke the target, preparing to whip it. Whip it good. -na 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 -na. So what the heck are mites? We have mites on ourselves? Hold on, can I select my own unit? Unit is infected with Vec mites. Damage? Fire, acid, freezing, or repairing will remove them. So we're, we have to spend our actions on this combat getting rid of mites. It doesn't say drowning. Damage, fire, acid, freezing, or repairing. So we, we're going to have to get hit or go into the fire tile and then... Uh, yeah, and then dump us all into the drink to put out the fire. I have no idea how this is going to work. Is there is there something playing? 
Is there music playing? I don't hear it. No, I hear it. It's like a, a little wind sound effect happening. I just see my audio mixer moving and I'm like, I don't hear anything. All right, so we want our, it's weird. We want all of our units to be up front and then we also want the enemies to attack us so we can dump them into the drink. Ah, I, there's two elite enemies, good God. But we also want to make sure that these elite enemies can't stun me. One, two, three, four. Preventing me from breaking the dam. How do we do this so that we can we can shoot the dam? We want to be able to shoot through our own mech and hit the dam. So this should work. It doesn't matter if they if they stun me at all. No, that's incorrect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because if if I get webbed. I won't be able to hit the dam, but hopefully, because they have smoke. Hopefully they don't smoke me twice. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I, I think, I think maybe we do something like this. We just hope that you, okay, I mean, I think we just do it. I think we do it. We hope we don't get smoked. And if we do, we can teleport our unit out of the smoke and then sh still shoot the dam in theory. I'm actually gonna move you a little further away though, because you you do launch a bomb that does one damage. It's not a lot of damage, but hopefully it's good enough. And you're an artillery mech, you can be at the back. Okay, let's see what happens. I have no idea. So you smoke me. You're going for a freaking building. But it's only one building, and if we if we have to let the power go, we have to let the power go. It's not a big problem. This mech is covered in Vec mites. Knock them off. Okay, so I think what we want to do is teleport our mech out so that they can hit the dam. We want to, although we're only getting hit we're gonna die. We're only getting hit by one unit. Maybe there's a different way out of this. You're, you're webbed, you can't move at all. So we have to kind of teleport you. The bomb doesn't push. It just is a bomb. I wonder how far the bomb can move. And then you are hitting a building. So I think what we want to do actually is teleport. No, no, no. Teleport. Teleport. It only teleports adjacent units. So it teleports you. Is it a random unit? You probably select the unit that you, that you swap with, isn't that right? So like if I move here, I could probably swap you and you, although that wouldn't really help me that much. So can I can I make one of these enemies attack their allies? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I could make you kill, like, the freaking Blast Scion. Well, what is your what is your piercing ability? It pushes both units. I could knock you off of the building, but then you're still gonna destroy this building partially. This is a hard turn one. There's a lot of stuff happening here, and I don't quite understand the unit abilities, but we'll figure it out. I do think that we probably want if possible, to teleport. No, I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, please. It'll, it'll work, it'll work. It'll save all the buildings but one, but I think we accept that because we kind of need to accept that on these missions. I think we teleport our mech here. We move here shoot through the bomb to hit the dam, which will kill two of the Alpha Leapers, and the Mosquito will live and hit the building, but I think that's as good as we can freaking get it. So, let's see Let's see if this is how this mechanic works. Teleport this unit. This weapon requires two target locations before it can fire. Once you select the first target, highlight a second target. Teleport here. That's really cool. That's the first time we've had a unit in this, or a, a mechanic in this game that targets two different things. Then we're gonna toss a bomb down here. Then we're gonna shoot through the bomb, 
to destroy the dam. <laughs> now, you live, the mites are on us, which is a little annoying, and you're gonna hit a building. But next turn, there's only gonna be three enemies, and we understand that we're gonna take more damage in unfair mode. It's unfair this turn, but I think we did a pretty good job. Destroying the dam on turn one is probably not what you would love to see, but it helps us so much. This is so weird. Us being smoke doesn't matter. They can't lock us down at all. We gotta, we gotta kill their units. And unfortunately, they can't, um, this'll work. They can't, I, I can't move them to block a spawn and they don't get drowned, unfortunately. That's fine. So if I shoot you, it doesn't do damage, but it'll hit the building. That's bad. Instead, I think we should probably waterlogged in the drink. I can't actually teleport. And it only teleports an adjacent unit. This is still fine, because I can just move here, move here, teleport. No, that's the bomb one. You're the teleport one. Teleport you and swap positions with like you. It sw swaps positions with any unit on the field. That's the power of this guy. So I can even move here, swap positions with this mosquito and deal with two units in one turn. And now I'm seeing the power of this unit that can actually uh, maneuver two enemies in, this, in a single action. That's really nice. Okay. And then what do you do? You toss out a bomb? It's weird, but if I toss out a bomb no, because we gotta... The bomb is probably not huge. Large, big, big, large, huge. Um, I could toss the bomb to break the enemy tile. Dismantle after the enemy turn. I assume, I assume emergence will happen first. But if we toss the bomb here, we can kill the scion. We can move here, teleport you guys around. And then nothing will take damage, and there's going to be another unit next turn. But we gotta we gotta deal with these mosquitoes. We can't really have them hit each other, unfortunately. But this still is a pretty good turn, I think. So we do here, here. Put the bomb here. Shoot through the bomb. Unfortunately, it pushes the bomb. Yeah, and I can't shoot it from here, unfortunately. Um, but it'll kill the Scion, and the next turn, we have different types of attacks that can kill the Mosquitoes. Ignite the tile to turn off, or to burn off the Mites. The thing is, is that I, I know I need to deal with these Mites, but I think it's more important to stop the building damage. Like, if we, if we don't get a, the bonus objective, who cares? I'd rather save power. Grid defense is zero! Oh, I see what they mean. I thought the grid power was going to be lower, but grid defense is zero. We have a 0% chance of uh, resisting damage. I really do think that it's in our best interest to uh, block the spawn, kill the scion, and protect both buildings. Otherwise, like, theoretically, we could come here and... Uh, wait, where's Kazak? Kazak is here. Kazak could come... Well, actually, they can't go anywhere, but they could, in theory, come here and then attack for two. Um, but yeah, I think we do this this plant the bomb the bomb will get pushed it dies unfortunately then we can come here teleport you and you now you're attacking nothing you're starting a fire which is good we end turn if we can knock off the mites we'll knock off the mites hopefully we can get the enemies to attack us the problem with these mosquitoes though is that because they create smoke oh we blocked, we, by blocking the tile, we knocked the mite off. That's what we should be doing. I didn't even think about that. So whenever possible, we should absolutely block a tile. Now, unfortunately, this bombling mech is kind of just off in no man's land and can't do a damn thing, but that's okay. Uh, we can block another tile and push you into the drink, no problem. Uh, you guys are attacking buildings. 
I... You're a bombling mech. If I toss a bomb here, I can kill this unit. Because it will... It will burn and then die. I can't quite hurt myself, but... That's okay. You could block a spawn. You know what I like? I like actually the idea of teleporting like the firefly over here so that it can't do anything. And then I'll block two spawns by pulling my bombling mech over because the bombling bombling mech. I can't I keep thinking I can't move it. I can. I just can move it when I teleport it. So like, hell, I could put it into the drink and teleport the firefly into the drink. No problem. But we also have to deal with all of these freaking uh, flying enemies that are attacking buildings, unfortunately, which is a little hard to deal with right now. Who Who's Kazak? You're Kazak? I mean, it, literally, in theory, I could just knock you into the pit. But there's got to be a better option. Attack order. One, two, three, four. Again, I could save two buildings by teleporting you here. You can die to the bomb. And then I can push you into the drink. It saves all of the buildings. It doesn't get us any closer to the objective, though. But I do kind of like it because, well, it kind of saves the buildings. And I think saving these buildings is kind of nice to do. Uh, is there, a, is there an, a way of doing this, though, where I can take a hit? Yeah, actually, I can just stay here and then take a hit. Do the same thing. You can just block a spawn. You're not doing much, but you, you block a spawn. What's interesting is that if I actually move here and push you up, then I move here and teleport, then I can... I can get the Firefly to hit this unit at the end of turn, but I think there's better options. But I still like this. I like this because it does get a kill here. Saves the building. Do this. Saves two buildings. And then next turn... Yeah, it doesn't work. Next turn, we can just block enemy shots and then hopefully take damage. We're not going to be able to stop enemy spawns, though, which means that... I am just going to need to, like, repair and then block a shot, which is a little awkward. But the Firefly is going to live, and we can just stay in front of the Firefly shot to take a hit. Yeah, you can repair to get rid of the Mite, or take hits, light yourself on fire. There's options. So I think I think this is what I'm going to do. I think I've, I've, I've made my decision here. We're going to launch a bomb. It has three tiles of movement, and then we can blow it up. So I think we, I can light you on fire. Temp unit dies after enemies emerge, that's perfect. So I think we just wanna move here and then blow up. Now you're dead. I think we want to, I think I wanna take this hit to knock the might off and then we'll... Ooh, no, 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 no. We can't do that, actually. Because if I do that, I'll die. <laughs> oh, and I can't push you up, because if I push you up, it'll do two damage and knock us into the pit. Yeah, because if I teleport here and here, we'll actually take two damage and then die. So we don't want to do that. So how... All right, we're just going to have to do it like this, then. Teleport from this position... Like, in theory, there's another way of doing this, which is to teleport the Firefly over here, but then they're over here not doing anything, and I can't deal with them next turn, really. I, I think I think it's in our best interest to swap, kill the Firefly, and the next turn we have two mites. Yeah. This has the, the added benefit, though, of freeing this unit from the mites at the cost of one damage, but if we do this... 
There's only gonna be one enemy next turn spawning, two mites, or sorry, two mosquitoes. We'll have one mite to deal with. This is not a bad turn. Everything's living. We've lost one power on this mission, but that's okay. And Kazak can just murder any mite. Or do the, the cool thing and just like swap the positions of these mites. Yeah, this is no problem. Yeah, like literally, if we... <clears throat> I mean, if we move our unit and then dunk you, that's easy. Like, if I move you into the drink and then teleport you into the drink, you're dead. We'll have a unit out here with mites. I can use the bomb to blow up this dude and myself. Can we position ourselves in a place where that works? Yes, by positioning ourselves here. No, because you got to move there, which means you'll spawn there. How am I going to do this? How does this ability work? It pushes them at the same time. So you don't. The Firefly doesn't actually take damage, they just land in the fire tile, which is perfect. <laughs> so you teleport, you bomb, but then you're still hitting a building. I teleport you here. I'm dumb. You can just repair. I'm overthinking this. You move here. You teleport here. You're dead. Then we move here. We still have the reset turn. I, I want to. I want to know if this unit lands on the fire tile and then burns. I think they will. Yeah. Okay. So it pushes the units at the same moment, and then you can just repair. You've knocked the mites off. So we've completed the objective. Nothing's taking damage. You're gonna live, but this is the end of the mission. So we we took one power, but that's not that bad. That is not that bad on unfair mode to take one power grid damage on the first turn of the first mission. It was like the second turn. And we almost leveled up. We need these level ups fast. Now, do not kill the volatile Vec. One, two, three, four, five. No, thank you. Protect the artillery support. I love this mission because the artillery support's very easy to protect. And then we'll probably go for satellite launches, hopefully if we get like one more weapon first, but let's go for the artillery support and see what happens. Ogrim, welcome. Glad we're trying out the DLC. Are we on unfair? We are, Ogrim. And on the first mission, we took one power and we, we knocked the mites off of our mechs. Actually, what are the other objectives? We can't see? Okay, fair. Yeah, I like this mission with the artillery support. Artillery support is just another gun, so this should not be that hard. What do we have? Another mosquito, two alphas, a firefly and a leaper, a regular leaper and a regular firefly. So I want enemies to go for me. You are the bomber mech. I like that there's a little island over here. We'll put you, um, you have a movement of three. Because your bomb can also move, you can just kind of hang out in the back. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and then our teleport mech. You can be up at the front, weirdly enough, because you can just teleport enemies into the drink. In fact, like we could put you over here into the island. Still launch the bomb basically wherever we want, and then maybe... You know, I could, I could tele... Well, maybe not the Leaper, but if I teleport the Firefly over here, they only have one action. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. Um... No, I'm just going to put you over there, though. Well, if I put you here, nothing can hurt you, and then you're free to move. Actually, it doesn't seem that bad. Let's confirm this. And we can always move into the drink and then teleport an enemy into the drink. I love this teleport functionality. You're shooting us. You're hitting a building. You smoke the coal plant. You're hitting a building. You're hitting nothing. Okay. So the first thing is I love the idea of swapping these two units because 
the Alpha Leaper will kill the Firefly in one shot. So I love that. A bomb here will kill the Firefly and the Leaper. So I love that. And then what the heck does the Mosquito do? I mean, you know, there's not really a turn because I can't shoot from the water. I'd love to just shoot something through in order to hit the Mosquito, but I can't quite do that. If I move the uh, artillery support forward one, uh, it is, it's not gonna be able to hit the Mosquito. Oh, but you know what? Why not leave this Firefly alive? In fact, we won't kill the Firefly. It can kill the Mosquito because we can just push it down one and we can just move the artillery support back to stop the damage. So this is an ideal turn one. This is a turn one where we're not gonna take any damage. So you're dead. You love it. I think our bomb, bomb mech is gonna tank one damage. Cause we need to shoot here. No, 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 actually, you know what? We don't shoot with the artillery support at all. You know what? No, that's stupid. We do. We just kill the, the Mosquito. We're going to kill everything on turn one. Except for the Leaper, but that's like, who cares? Um, we want you to shoot down. You can kill the Mosquito. You can fire the bomb. The bomb will blow up. because you're shooting the mosquito. That makes sense. So we're gonna take one damage, but the Firefly is gonna die on its turn next turn, and the only unit that's gonna live is the freaking Leaper. I'm loving the new music too. Two new tracks by Ben Prunty, by the way. So this is an ideal turn one. We take one damage, who cares? Coal Plant's gonna live. Oh no! Looks like the Vekar hazarded themselves as well, says Mikela. I love this teleporting mech. This is this teleporting mech is the thing that makes this freaking uh, squad work. In fact, I think we should put the pilot on the bomb mech because that way the bomb mech can do two damage. The teleporting is just too valuable. I'm never going to turn it off. I'm never going to stop using it, rather. So the Firefly is in an unhittable position. To me, that means we should teleport it into a hittable position. Just don't light yourself on fire. So what about, what about teleporting it and the artillery support? We can move the artillery support into a better position. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, is it? The uh, the new music does stand out, but I think that's because it's new. Because now we're this is an older soundtrack. So I gotta think about this. Oh, dude, we can teleport the bomb! We could teleport the bomb into the fire with another unit and then still blow up the bomb. <laughs> Dude, I love it. And that means we can kill the Leaper in, in, rather, on the next turn. But we're not dealing with the, the Firefly if we do it like this, but it is still very funny to do, to think about. We gotta teleport the Firefly. How are we gonna do that? We should... Teleport the Leaper? I don't want to teleport. Wait, who attacks first? The Leaper? Okay, we should teleport the Leaper then behind this Firefly so he kills him in one shot. How do we do that? We throw a bomb. Put the bomb there. Teleport the Leaper and the bomb. And then our bombs dismantle. It doesn't say they blow up. It says they dismantle after the enemy turn. So they won't explode. And then we just... We can't really block a spawn, unfortunately, but like, we can get close. Actually, can we block a spawn at all? Shoot the, shoot the bomb. We're, we're, okay, we want the bomb to be here. We can just walk here, teleport you. You're not taking any damage. 
I, I, I want to block more spawns. I just don't know how to block more spawns. I could teleport the Leaper to block a spawn, I guess. Um. So I'm, I'm taking a long time to think about this turn because I'm still wrapping my head around the bombing because you gotta you gotta think about where you're gonna be standing to teleport, where the destination teleport's gonna be, and in some situations whether or not you can move after you teleport. So it's like a it's a multi-step function here. Agro Chrissy, have a good night. Thanks for being here. It's 1 a.m., dude. That's late. It's like 7 a.m. here, 7 p.m. here rather. Um, I'd love for the artillery support to do something. I think it's more important to. Toss the bomb. Teleport here. Firefly's dead. We get into a position to shoot enemies next turn, because we can't do it on this turn, unfortunately. So I really wish we could just move a little more to get into position here. One, two... Bomb has a movement of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I can't quite get into uh, get where I want him to be. So I think this is as good as we're gonna get it. And you, you know, you can just move here so you can fire in two different lines next turn, end turn. We have three actions available, but nothing to do, unfortunately. I don't see any time pods in the walls either. But this is still a great turn. You have to move, I forgot about this, go here. And if you shoot the mountain, yeah, it doesn't do any damage. You can shoot through a building! What? So you're telling me, if I shoot through the building, it doesn't hurt the building, and then it'll do two damage to the target on the other side? That's incredible. I had no idea. Yo, does that mean you can shoot through mountains as well? You can shoot through a mountain! You can shoot through anything! Oh my god. So there's a lot more uh, possibility here than I thought. Because if we get ourselves in position, we can just shoot through a building to protect it by pushing the enemy away from the building. Yo, that's really cool. Let's end turn, though. Because um, we're done with this turn. That's really cool. We got to keep that in mind for the future. Der Nunu, welcome as well. Oh my, I thought it blew up. The, the sound effect on that was it exploding. <laughs> I didn't move my unit! God, I meant to move it, move it here because it could have protected this building. So that was a that's a mistake. It's okay. We'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> okay. You do three damage. So we can protect this building by teleporting the leaper here. Um. I could do it by like moving a bomb or something. For you, I think we just do this. I think that's an easy move. We can shoot through the building, but it's not gonna do enough damage. Um, and then actually, with the Leaper taking three damage and dying to the spawn, we could just do two damage to the Firefly here. And then the bomb is just gonna... I mean, we can, we can position the bomb to block a spawn. So this is actually a, a pretty decent turn, I feel. You get posi positioned here, save the building and kill the Scion. You're not gonna block a spawn if I kill the Scion. I think I'm okay with this, because it's still a good turn. And also, the it does not spawn a fire here by sh piercing through the first enemy. Very interesting. You weaken this guy. Actually, we're gonna kill this unit too. How cool is that? Put the bomb. Teleport the bomb and the leaper. Because now the leaper is going to kill the mosquito, and then the firefly is going to kill the leaper, and then our bomb is going to block a spawn. All right. That's pretty good. You're dead. You're dead. We leveled up. I wanted to level up, which is why I was tempted to have more enemy spawn, because with a level up, what do you do? Two damage, probably? 
Three damage! It's incredible. Uh, with more enemies, we can get more experience, but this is still, like, it's working fine. Because you're going to shoot your mosquito if I just move out of the way. Or I could kill you. Can I kill you? I don't do enough damage to kill both of these units in this turn, but what I can do is kill one of them. The Firefly is worth more because it has more health. Health is equivalent to experience. So if we can only kill one, let's get Kazak a kill. So it's going to be... Actually, if we do three damage... Three damage and one damage and two damage and... Put a bomb here and blow it up. You will take one damage. Kazak has three movement. Kazak cannot get into position to hit this guy. Kazak could shoot this guy and kill him, but then I have two actions with which to kill the mosquito. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill the mosquito. Because it would have to be with Kazak, but Kazak can't attack because he's not close enough. Okay, so we're just we're gonna not kill the mosquito. Let's not even worry about it. Like, okay, hold on, but if I do two damage to it first... No, it, it, it doesn't work. Or does it? And then you have to take one point of damage? Yo, I can kill both units. We still have the reset turn if this doesn't work. However, I think it'll work. Look at that. Look at that. Experience all around. Good stuff. We didn't take any damage. <laughs> Excellent job. Protect the coal plant. Two power grid back, and we need to get the power grid for this grid defense. We've got a promotion. Plus two move when not at full health. Masochist. So there are new... Uh, unit abilities as well, which is kind of a, a bit of a shame because I would love if I could just get uh, power, 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 so I could upgrade my own movement and health and reactors and stuff. But two movement when not at full health means I could just tank a shot and then have plus two movement for the rest of the, the mission. I wish I could enter a fight damaged, but I can't. Still, that's okay. Man, Abe makes this look effing easy. It's, dude, I love Into the Breach. This is a fantastic game. And I, lo I love puzzle games. At some point I do need to play some um, Patrick's Parabox, but uh, for right now I'm getting my fix with Breach. These play sick plays are entertaining. I, I worry because I'm, I'm spending a lot of time thinking about the, the turns because of the fact that these are new equipments, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. Armored Train. We may have upgraded old Horus's armor, but it's the same reliable old earth diesel powered underneath. Please make sure it gets our supplies across the region. So we get a train that shoots bullets. That's fun. Destroy two ve Vec egg sacks. You must destroy the eggs before they hatch. So, we, I mean, we have a penetrating weapon. Do not kill a volatile Vec, and then defend the satellite launches. The satellites will do damage, but uh, only after the enemy's turn. Um, what would we what would we like to see? I mean, honestly, here's the thing: five units and two eggs, five units and a train. Huh, you want to try the armored train? Glader says, "I love armored train." Can you switch pilots between mechs? Plus two moves sounds amazing with a teleporter. So the problem is I have to take damage in order to get the move. I guess we we don't we want Kazak on the bomber mech anyways. So we can we can certainly move the pilots around a little bit. But this mech, the teleport mech, only has two HP, so they would have to like block a spawn and then be able to move. It's not bad. We can certainly uh, make it work. And then, because we're going to be teleporting every turn, Kazak on the bomber guys, I think a little bit better. And I think we're going to do the armor train. This seems interesting. Hey, you didn't name the pilots after chat, says Ogrim. Oh, well. <laughs> so it's a three turn mission instead of a four turn mission. I 
I mean, I've never done armored terrain. Let's see what happens. It has one HP, but it's armored. Okay. What else? Move forward two spaces, destroying anything in its path. Yo! It's good. <laughs> it has a gun, but I don't think it actually shoots. So it attacks at the end of action, but if there's something in front of it, it'll just wipe them. Yo, that's real sweet. That's real freaking good. Okay, we want gun, bomb, teleport. I think we just want a frontline assault here. Four move, three move. We can easily dunk enemies into the pit. The leaper, one, two, three, four. It could it could web any one of our units. In fact, it's going to because no buildings are in range for it. So you know what's interesting is that if we actually move like this, he's guaranteed to move to this tile and then web this building. And then we could just teleport him in front of the in front of the train just to kill him. So I kind of like that as a plan. Our other units are going to be so far out of position, though, they won't be able to help. So I think I still prefer this so that we can actually do something about this Leaper on turn one. So I think I think this is OK. Because the teleporting ability is just too good. The gun is just to spread the fear <laughs> and a time pod, finally. You do no damage. If I teleport you, the train will kill you. Or I could teleport you into the drink. So we don't want to teleport this firefly in front of the train because it'll it'll kill the train, but we can teleport this firefly in front of the train. We can teleport the leaper in front of the train. We could teleport the soldier scion in front of the train. This unit's doing no damage, though, because the train is one armor. So, it's actually very tempting not to just come over here, smack this um, Firefly. It's not going to kill it, though. Oh, dude. Push the Firefly into the drink. You would teleport here to there. Because the teleport mech can just kill one unit per turn. It's so good. Kill the Leaper. The Soldier Scion comes a little bit close. I mean, you know what? We could just smack the Soldier Scion, tank one damage. Uh, you have the extra movement, I think. Uh, but you're not going to take any damage on this turn. I still think this is like a free, the ideal play. You do this. You kill a unit. It pushes the unit. Would you look at that? It pushes the freaking unit. So we are gonna get the movement speed bonus next turn. Well, look at that. Cause you do one damage, you son of a gun. Anyways, we teleport you here. Now you're dead. Uh, and then we absolutely just wanna come here and then smack the crap out of you. I, although I could toss out a bomb. If I bomb this guy, he's dead next turn. Which I actually think is a lot better. Yeah. We don't get the movement, but we don't need that much movement. I would much rather kill this Firefly next turn by just one action. It's dead next turn. It's not going to be able to attack. Train tanks no damage. You're going to take one damage. Who cares? End turn. Oh no! God, this train is good. Although I, I see the problem. If you're in the way of the train, you're gonna die. <laughs> Cause it'll kill you, it'll do lethal damage. So, so. I mean, if I push you, well, it knocks you out of the way, but you kill the time pod. That's no good. If I kill the Soldier Scion, you're dead. You're not doing any damage. If I don't kill the Soldier Scion, you're still dead. Riviet, welcome to the stream. And Buzz Mowgli, hello. 
<clears throat> I have to sneeze. Excuse me. What is our um what's our achievements? Have seven units on any team die in a single turn. In a single turn. Oh baby. How are you gonna do that? I have no idea. Is there a nuke launcher? We move. We gotta If we teleport the firefly into the drink, it'll die. And then you're gonna be over here. I could smack you, and then you'll die next turn. Yeah, it seems real good. Like, come here. Teleport you into the drink. You're dead. Come here. Smack you. You're dead. You block a spawn. Come. You can't do anything on this turn, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know, you could shoot the train. It would kill the train because it pierces through the train. Uh, I don't know. Probably just move over here, though. Just to chill out for a minute. I want you to be on the other side of the train so you can shoot through it and kill something, but there's only going to be one unit alive next turn anyway, so... But, like, you might as well move there and then... Um, you're dead. You're dead. End turn. Protect the time pod. There's only gonna be one unit next turn and the Scion, so this is actually a relatively straightforward turn, I feel. No one's been injured. No one's gonna be injured. Can you pick up the time pod with the bomb? I will test that out. That's a great question. Okay, I mean, you're insanely easy to kill because I can just dunk you. You're already dead. You I can kill in literally one shot, and you're gonna get dunked. All right, let's see if we can um, let's see if we can get the bomb because I don't think I don't think we need to worry about it. Well, what am I gonna do about the uh, leaper? Can I teleport the train? No. <laughs> what do I want to be? Oh, if we stand here, we can teleport the leaper in front of the train. Uh, yep. So we'll start here. Kill you. Let's see if we can get the bomb. Or the time pod. You can get the time pod with the walking bomb that explodes. <laughs> All right, that's funny. And then, by the way. Yo, the train is going to slaughter you. Thumbs up? Like, I'm looking at this like we're good, right? Stefanixdorf, hey, welcome. How you doing? Gladare says you can get the bomb. Well, now we proved it. On a free turn. I think I got a, it's, it's a head crab zombie. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. And it lived! Do we get him on our team now? Defend the train. Protect the time pod. Just a reactor core. That's still good. Now who wants it? Plus one damage, plus one damage, plus move, plus health. Two bombs. Fire a second bomb in a different direction. Does it have to be in a different direction? Heal ally. Swapping an ally will heal it completely. Plus 10 health? I guess that is completely. Hurt enemy. Deals one damage. Um, it's weird. I don't, I don't really know where to put the point. I guess on plus one move, just because that way we can get into a better position in order to do the swapping, because that's, that's quite important. This mech, because it pierces, it, it already has four move. I think that's that's good enough. It does have to be in a different direction, says Glade Dare. I guess they've, they've probably played this uh, update already before I did. It's why I didn't do it on day one. I waited a couple of days. And because I was busy. But 
Yeah, I think I like the movement here, so we can get into position to do the teleporting, because that's super important. It's why I have plus two move on this unit, even though they're not really getting much value out of it right now. Now, destroy egg sacks. We can teleport eggs pretty easily. I'm also looking at the high threat detected, because if we teleport the enemy units appropriately, we can just have them die to the explosion from the satellite launch. Like if they attack in one direction, we can teleport them to the other side adjacent and then they don't attack it at all and then they get killed. Um, not the Firefly, but... Destroy the egg sacks. This one I worry about it being a little hard to do when I'm focused on everything else, but we tend to have excess turns, like ex excess actions we can spend on a turn. And we can make them shoot the eggs themselves, but I'm leaning towards this one because of the satellites. Rather, this satellite in the middle is going to be a little bit harder to, uh, or it's going to be the one attacked. This one is not going to be attacked that much. <clears throat> so we're going to fight leapers, the firefly, and mosquitoes. I think we can do it. I think if we do this, we'll lose a building, but I, I'm willing to give it a go, I think. There's going to be six enemy units on turn one. You know, give me the eggs. What do you do? You don't do a damn thing. Okay. That's fair. You have a movement of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if I position here, here, and here, then the Leaper is going to hit one of the buildings. No problem. And we want to make sure that we can teleport that Leaper around. So I actually think you go there. I think I want you. I think I want you here so I can just shoot down. Although, now that I think about it, this seems better because then I can just shoot down. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, what's even freaking better is doing it like this. I can shoot down, or I can get down on behind the units and shoot up. So you're back here with the bomb. You're also the Mantis. You teleport. I like this. Confirm. So the eggs don't do anything. They're just there as targets. And they have one HP. There's another Leaper! <laughs> it's okay. They do three damage, though, and if I kill the Scion, I can just teleport him so that he kills his friend. Okay, one, two, four units are attacking the buildings, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see. You do five damage, you have six HP. If I teleport... You have four movement. If I teleport... One, two... Oh, I can't get where I need to go is the problem. You move first, you do three damage. You're kind of the problem. And you only have movement of three, which is also a bit of a problem. However, if I shoot you down... And then smack here, that's enough to kill the Firefly. But then we have freaking three other units being, you know, attacking stuff. How are we going to stop them all from attacking? If I move you back, it prevents the Firefly from attacking, but doesn't save these two buildings. I mean, there's a there's kind of an obvious play, which is teleport the two Leapers. If we teleport the two Leapers, they can't attack the buildings. We could then push the Firefly down, which will cause the Firefly actually to die to the Leaper. Actually, it'll die to the Leaper next turn if we kill the Scion, which means the only thing we have to do is stop this Firefly from attacking. How do you stop this Firefly from attacking? You don't. So are we okay losing one power? 
I'm not against the idea. Is there another way of handling the situation, though? I mean, I could still bomb it and kill the uh, the egg, so it actually accomplishes quite a quite a lot. Yeah, there is another option, which is you walk up here and you shoot. And then you smack the firefly down, which means the firefly is not going to die next turn, but it does save the buildings, and the scion does take an extra damage. Okay. I think we like it. We're going to teleport you two. You're not attacking buildings anymore. I'm going to Mantis smack you. You're still gonna go down to one HP though, and you're gonna kill the Leaper. And then we want you to hit the Firefly, who's gonna have one HP when the Scion dies. Actually, you're gonna die to fire damage anyways. These two units are both dead. <laughs> I'd love this teleport mech. Being able to teleport the enemies and get two kills for the price of one on a turn is so bloody good. End turn, everything's protected. I'm glad I positioned my units around the back side of the buildings because it, it worked beautifully. I had both angles covered, so I had an opportunity of, of where I was gonna shoot. You're dead. You're not even attacking. There's not enough freaking room for you. It's a bit of a weird turn, but actually the bomb here is just perfect. Gets two kills. Now you're gonna live. Um, can I murder you? I mean, I could just teleport you into the drink and then shoot the freaking bomb. It might do one damage to us, like who cares? What are you gonna do? I mean, if I teleport you out of the way, I could just shoot here, push you. Actually, I'll just kill you. Yeah, okay, I mean, I gotta say I really like this turn. We're gonna start by teleporting this mech, which kills the Leaper. I'm gonna toss a bomb. It's gonna hurt me for one, but it does kill the Scion and the Egg. And then I'm going to position myself over here shoot you. It does no damage, but you're on fire. So you're dead. I like the animation on that, too. We still have to destroy one egg, but like, that's that's no problem. We'll do that. There's only gonna be two units next turn, so we can spend one action killing the egg. And with the flyer, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll go over a pit and then we can just uh, dunk another unit. That's not how it worked. That's fine. We're not really in a position to deal with this guy either, so we're probably gonna have to just just gonna have to dunk him. Or rather teleport him and block a spawn, probably. Uh, so let's see. Oh, you know what? If I blow up in a bomb there, you're dead. So, yeah, that's good. I shoot first? No, I can't get it in the position I want. All of our units will burn, right? Very much. And then they'll probably burn over here. Although I could just move and then repair, but... Um, I'm trying to think. Blocking the spawns would be ideal, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. You know, there is a move I like. It's a move, there's a move I like quite a lot. I think you're gonna, uh, you're gonna hang back, toss a bomb, get a kill. You are gonna do a dirty little swap here, which allows us to block spawn. You're gonna shoot the egg, there's gonna be four units next turn, but I still kind of like this. I could shoot the um, 
the Firefly, but then I have to deal with the egg. I'd much rather just walk out of the way of the Firefly or teleport him into a position where he can't attack me. I'd rather not have uh, another thing to do next turn. So we'll end turn. Totally fine. We gotta level up on the Mantis, the Mantis Man. I don't know what his level up ability is because it doesn't show up yet. Okay. Because we're only getting attacked by three units, I think we got this. Yeah, a teleport here can save two buildings and then um, you can just... I mean... We don't even need to do that. We could just teleport our unit out of the way, which will kill the freaking Firefly. And then I guess you can come up here and get two kills. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, let's kill all but one unit. That sounds pretty good. So you're dead. You're dead, because you're on fire. I will teleport you and you. I guess just repair? You're not the masochist, are you? <laughs> Skills, none. All right. So we should get five experience. You live, but that's just the nature of the beast. Did we get an another? We got a level up on the Mantis. No, we already got a level up. We got a level up on somebody. Oh, the, the shooty mech. <laughs> Conservative. Limited use weapons are given plus one use. Okay, that doesn't help us at all. I'm understanding now. Yeah, having a lot of new pilot abilities is good. It's a little bit more unique, but also, I just want plus one move. I want plus one reactor, please. Plus two move when not at full health. You're a masochist as well, huh? Well, none of our units are limited use, so all of my all of my pilot abilities suck. Like I can't do anything with them. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we're gonna go to corporate HQ. I don't want to mess around with the pilots. Pilots are fine. Wow, two leapers and the mosquito. This is a very dangerous like turn one here. Pretty much nowhere I go is perfectly safe. So it's very tempting to like, do something like this. We can always attack with the man Mantis out of a Leaper shot. Uh, the Exchange Mech can, you know, do some teleporting. You can do some shooting. I kind of like you being here because you can't be webbed. So you can, you have a guaranteed move. And it's a move of four. You know, this might be a little bit better because then you still cannot be webbed. But you have an opportunity to kind of get around the enemies, but let's do it like this. I'm assign Abomination, what do you do? Plus one HP regeneration and explode upon death. Right, you suck. <laughs> Pansku, welcome, how you doing today? All right, you're hitting a building. You're hitting a building. You're hitting me. You're hitting a building! And you're hitting a building. I mean, knocking you into the pit is great. You're freaking alpha mosquito. Do three damage. If I move the scion here, it does almost fully block the spawn. Well, uh, it almost fully kills him, I should say. How are we gonna deal with everything else? I like this. It causes one building damage, but it does get rid of the Leaper. Don't forget, though, you can always just shoot through a building if you really want to. Speaking of shooting through a building, 
kind of like the idea of moving down here and shooting the, through the building to hit the Scion. How are we going to protect all the buildings, though? Because we have four buildings taking damage. <coughs> we can always teleport enemy units. But we're going to have one additional spawn next turn as well. The bomb is pretty much a joke on this turn. The Mantis being in the bomb mech is actually critical. I could just do this. Because, like, we need the ability to, um, and you'll get bonus move? Yeah. We need the ability to actually uh, do damage. One damage is not good enough on the on a starting unit like this. Exchange mech. Five, six. If only it was... If only it was reversed. If any, and the problem is if any enemy unit dies, they will explode and do damage. So is there a, an ideal action that prevents things from exploding? Are we really gonna try to kill the sign up sign abomination before anything else? It's unlikely. It's not impossible, though. Okay, teleport you and you? No. You and you. Yeah. I teleport you there? Yeah, you don't block a spawn. I really like the idea of teleporting this um, Cyan Abomination onto the spawn tile, but there's nothing nothing that we get out of it. Except for damage. We're probably gonna take some damage. But we'll do it strategically and then hopefully come out ahead. So if we're gonna take damage, I think we ignore this building up here. The one with the leaper. I think we can focus on everything else. A shot down here will actually kill the Cyan Abomination if we teleport it, but then it won't block a spawn, but it will still die. Could we just like, if we burst it down, we're gonna lose so many other buildings though. Basically it would be something like this. I could push you out of the way and kill you, but then you'll still explode. Because if we teleport here, you'll block the spawn. If we shoot down first, you'll die to the Firefly. You'll get knocked out of the way. But then this unit is still gonna hit the building. There's no way to stop the building damage. How much damage do you do? Three? You know, I kind of like the idea, now that I think about it, of teleporting you onto the spawn. You'll both be down to one HP. You'll have two HP after we kill the Scion. But it doesn't stop the Scion. But I guess we can stop the Scion by just shooting here. It'll do two damage to the Scion. The Leaper will live if I move out of the way first. And then you... I guess probably just kill this unit and take one damage. I think we accept. That we take one building damage in order to get two units down to basically one HP and the Scion, dam the Scion down to three HP. Could be better. Narziel, welcome to the stream. Maybe teleporting with two Mantis. The thing is, is that if I teleport these two Mantises, they attack nothing but the teleport doesn't accomplish anything. If I teleport this mosquito out of the way, I get two alphas to attack each other and block the spawn. I feel like we get so much farther ahead by doing that. Because like if I teleport the two mantises, what do I do with my turn? I still have this mosquito hitting a building. I could punch him out of the way. And I could come over here to knock you into the pit. But what do we accomplish? Block a spawn, kill a unit. You know, it's not bad. This mosquito is gonna be at full health and we've got the leapers and the abomination is still at full health. I actually still think, 
even though I think that does prevent all grid damage, I don't think it's worth it. I think we have to kill the Sign Abomination, because what are we going to do next turn? We're going to have to... We're going to have to let buildings go. Well, I guess we can probably still, like, teleport enemies around. It's a risk. The, e the easy option is kill the Abomination, or rather shoot him, because he's killable next turn. I'm okay letting a building take one damage. I really am. Ogrim says, I believe in the 2%. Exchange the Mosquito and the Leaper. I guess that's true. Yeah, then the Leaper or the um, sign would take damage. And what would we do? Because we got to think about what we're going to do. If we exchange, if we don't exchange this leaper, the only way we can save the building is by smacking it, which destroys this building. So if I teleport the leaper um, and the mosquito here, we're still gonna take building damage. I mean, I could shoot through the building, but that still doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> I'm still leaning towards letting this building die, and then we we have the Scion one hit away from death, and then next turn we can, you know, kill these units because they all have one HP. The Leapers will live. Well, one Leaper will live. But I really don't think it's too much of a problem. Wait, how do I put the mosquito here now? I can't move the mosquito here. I might be dumb. I might actually be dumb. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't... Well, now I am thinking about this, but then what are we going to do about this? I guess block the spawn and then shoot here. Yeah, okay. It's not not the way I drew it up, but now that I think about it, I have no way to teleport on the the mosquito onto this tile. So I think we will teleport the mosquito and the leaper. Because we can still block the spawn and then knock you into the drink. We still take the one damage, but are you a masochist? You're conservative. The only guy who takes damage is not the masochist. I still like this. You're one shot away from death. And there's only going to be two other units next turn. I'm going to accept that. I refuse to take advice from chat. <laughs> Offer all you want, but I can choose to ignore it. But I, I still like this turn because... I, I would rather lose one one power and get the bonus objectives, and we should be able to get the bonus objectives now. You're one shot away from death. I mean, honestly, if I teleport you into this the Maelstrom, you're very easily dead. Um, or if I teleport you two jokers around and then kill you, we're in a good position. And can I kill you? Yeah, a bomb will do it. I don't really want to light myself on fire, though. Is there another way of getting this done? I think, like... HP, Vi... I'd rather you not be on fire. Good 
to shoot you into the building. <laughs> I mean, th we can get out of this. The real question is just the order that we do stuff in. So like, if I teleport the Scion in here, the Scion is gonna die. Oh, wait a minute. I have such a good turn. We teleport the Scion to where our bomb mech is. Then we shoot everything down. And we let the Leaper do three damage to this guy. We could also just kill the Leaper. We can toss a bomb back here and then blow it up. Might even be for the better. We could block a spawn with a bomb. That's pretty easy. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I think we swap here. One way or another, the Scion's gonna die. We could leave the Scion there, but I think it's in our best interest to shoot it down so that this guy takes three damage. Wish you were in fire. And then we'll just come down here. You know, I guess I could knock you into fire, in which case you are gonna die next turn. That's probably better than blocking a spawn. Because it means that you can't do anything next turn. So there's, there's four units, because you're already dead. You're not hitting anything. You, I can actually block the shot, pierce the building, hit the leaper into the wall, and then you're not doing anything. Kind of a funny turn. Uh, although, I was gonna say I could bomb you, but I actually can't. I could just Kazakh smash, Kazakh smash! But is there a, is there a good teleport opportunity? You three, you're four. <laughs> you attack down, you attack up. Oh man, the sneezes today. I think I could teleport the leapers around. to shoot you into the drink. That's always a, a fun plan. I really like the idea of just blocking the shot and sh killing the sleeper, though. It blocks two hits. We can just smack you into the drink ourselves, I guess. Teleport this leaper and... Uh... You can teleport this Leaper and this Leaper and then take the shot, in which case this Leaper isn't attacking anything. Oh, wait a minute. No, the attack order is not right. Um. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah? Hold on. No, yeah? I'm like, if we teleport the Leaper and our shooting mech, then the Leaper will die to the Firefly. But there's gotta be a better teleport destination than that. It is really good. But if we do that, we can't really kill these units the way we would like. Uh, you know what, we totally can. You take the shot, which kills the Leaper here. Cause you're gonna be on this side of the, uh, on the map. And then for you, we can just smack you and then take uh, one hit. I actually really like this turn. So you're dead. Now you're dead as well. And then we can just walk down here and then just take a pot shot. We'll take one damage, but we'll be uh, a little bit faster next turn. There's gonna be three units next turn. We're a little out of position to deal with them, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue, because we can teleport. 
And all we gotta do is just teleport into a position where they can't hit anything. You're probably gonna go for me? You went for a building, okay. Still, um... What's, how do we, how do we want to accomplish this? Cause, I mean, we've, we've won. I can just literally go here, repair, and then tank if I really wanted to. But it's actually better if you do that, because then you can get the kill. Could I get a kill if I wanted to? Well, I could, I could teleport the mosquito into this corner shot. Or, I could smack you up against the wall and kill you. Teleport you and the mosquito. And then... Shoot through the building and kill- I can kill! I can kill everything. I can kill everything. I can actually kill everything. We still have the reset turn available, too. Kill you! This mountain's cracked, but there's no time pod inside of it. Teleport you guys. No. Yes? No. It's not gonna work, because you're not gonna be in position to actually get killed. But that's fine, because it doesn't matter, but I can still kill one additional unit. But do I care? Yes. I'd rather kill you, though. You do more damage. <laughs> yeah, let's do it like this. Wait a minute. No, I can't kill you. You have a movement of four? One, two, three. Oh, no, I can kill you. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to eke out as much power as possible. Anyways, everything's saved. We took one grid power. We kind of did it on purpose. And there, there was a better play that didn't do as much damage, but did keep the buildings intact. But I preferred to do the more damage play so we can kill that Scion as quickly as possible. Because I worry about that Scion blowing up all the buildings. So we did get Perfect Island, which is incredible. Prime class. We have no Prime mech. Minus one self damage. Ghana. Deploy anywhere. Damaging adjacent enemies. Requires one power. Or plus four grid power. Plus six grid defense. I think I'd rather take the pilot? Deploying anywhere, damaging enemies, like if I can push enemies into each other, I assume it's, it's a push, but maybe it's just a damage, but if I can kill a unit or wound a unit on turn one, that could help uh, help significantly. Or even just like get to the back to block spawns, to teleport, teleport successful. Um, so I think we'll go Ghana pilot. We'll spend reputation. Yeah, there's fewer weapons, but they don't take as much power to, to occupy. Fly over your targets while dropping smoke. But it's free, I guess. I don't know, this actually seems like a terrible shop. <laughs> yeah, the shops seem kind of bad. Because, like, I don't want either of these weapons. Usually when there were four options, there was usually something I could find that's like, yeah, I need this. I don't really even want smoke bomb because it doesn't do any damage. So I think I'll go reactors, and then I guess we can buy a smoke bomb to equip it, and then maybe use it. But I think I want deploy anywhere on the swap mech. Because they can just, they can get behind enemy lines and survive. Do you need to know about Vec AI to win in this difficulty? Um, you, you just, I mean, you gotta play smart, you know, th there's no guarantee that a Vex gonna target you or a building. If you're closer, they're, you know, they can target you, but, um, I is there a special rule regarding Ghana and enemy AI? Otherwise, like, you just, you want to just be aware of, you know, how far the enemies can move, whether or not a Leaper can web you, whether or not you're stacking up units, so that the, um, what's the, is it the Centipede, the one that burrows and then attacks in a line of three? You know, you gotta pay attention to, to the information that's presented to you. I don't know if there's any, like, hidden, you know, coded AI information that you can use to your advantage. 
I used Ghana to get an FTL time pod today, improved my opinion of him greatly, says Gladare. That's a very good point. If we find an FTL time pod, we'll take we'll keep that in mind. And Bart of Bobrich, welcome. The advanced edition has been a lot of fun so far. I think that Kazakh moving further is also what we want. So Mary is in storage. You know what? We could have we could buy another reactor core by selling Mary and then we won't get the smoke bomb. I actually think that's probably good. I think that's probably real good. So I'm going to I'm going to undo all. Yeah, I'm going to put Oh, Ghana is already on the mech. You're 18 conservative limited use weapons. I don't care about limited use weapons. I'd rather have a masochist. <laughs> and then we're going to sell our pilot and then just buy 3 reactor cores cuz I don't I don't really care about the smoke bomb at all. You're going to have preemptive strike. And then with two reactor cores, we could hurt an enemy. Or give you a move. And then honestly, I'm going to give you a move. Move is very important. All right. Leave Island. I have been enjoying this advanced edition, advanced edition so far. Very tricky. Very fun, and the bomber squad has been pretty good so far. What's our objectives? Block 30. We've blocked six. We're definitely not going to get hold the door. <laughs> Maybe. Highly unlikely. Um, that means you've got to block three per mission for every mission. That's tough to do. It's very tough to do. I mean, right now we'd have to block like five per mission. And no survivors. I don't even know how you do that. Oh, that bomb's like, what? 